Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Yoshi and today I want to talk to you about what I love and hate in Lolita fashion. Well, the hate part is probably more like a mildly dislike, but for the title it's gonna be titled as hate, but I do not really hate anything in Lolita fashion that much that I would consider it as a hate, more like a, a dislike. But yeah, let's start! So, first thing I love in Lolita fashion is of course the clouds. It is such a feminine fashion and I love how the clouds are so good quality and it makes like, uh, like I'm a lifestyle Lolita so wearing Lolita every day makes me, it's like a special thing for myself and I can express the, like, the feminine side of me wearing these clothes and they make me feel very cute and frilly and I I just love Lolita fashion and I'm so grateful that I'm uh, at the point of my life that I'm able to uh, wear Lolita every day since I'm still going to school so it is very special for me and every day that I when I can choose my I choose my clothing every uh, evening it is like a little time for myself when I can court things and plan. And yeah, I just love this fashion show much and I, I have been in it for five years now and I'm not planning on stopping anytime soon. So yeah, first of all, I love the <laughs> clothes, of course. Well, second of all, I love the diversity of substyles in Lolita fashion. I don't think a lot of people talk about this, but there are so many substyles in Lolita fashion. So if you like the shape and you like the style, we can probably find you your own specific substyle that you will enjoy. Like, of course, there is the top styles, which are Gothic, Classic and Sweet Lolita. But under them, there are so many substyles to like Punk, to Shiro, to Guho, to Pirate, to Witch, to Bittersweet, then there's of course Chocolate Lolita, which I enjoy at the moment, and then there is like Country, Hime, and then there's of course the boy styles, which are OG and Aristocrat, which are like a sibling styles to Lolita, but if you like the poofy shape in Lolita, we can probably find you a substyle that you will enjoy and will uh, be your, like your own and through your own so you, if you don't like OTT suite but you would still like to wear like more princess style and more uh, like muted pastel colors there is like Hime and or there is like classical suite even like there are so many diverse sub styles and in between styles between the sub styles so there are is so many options for you to choose. So if you're thinking of getting into Lolita, it is more accessible more accessible than ever. So I would say just go for it. There are so many good resources here on YouTube and on other platforms. So if you like Lolita fashion, I would say go for it. So third is the community. I love the Lolita community. I have met so many wonderful people in like Instagram, on online, on other side of the world who enjoy the same fashion that, that I do and even though we haven't met in person I like just twinned with one of my uh, biggest inspirations in Lolita, uh, Sweet Lullaby and we did a remote twinning but it was such an amazing experience even though we did not meet in person it was just the, like the picture together that we edited but it was so nice and it like we planned it for weeks and like when there is so there are so many memes inside the community and there are the meme pages that make so funny memes like when I'm uh, scrolling through my feed every day I see so many funny relatable things it is so fun how like together the community is even though they are always the, one of like the bad apples but most of the time the community is amazing and encouraging and helpful to uh, other Lolitas and to like newcomers and I did, would not know where I would be without the community. I have met so many great friends uh, in the past year in my uh, home city and it is so amazing and like Lolita has changed for me a lot in the past year 
since for a long time I was a long long eater. So it is just so amazing and so amazing to like connect with people in my like uh, all over the world but also in my hometown with the fashion and wear these frilly clothes like it is such an amazing experience so yeah uh, well on the positive note we, we just turned to the side that what I hate in Lolita fashion so first of all I would say the sizing the sizing has gotten better uh, in the past years and especially like metamorphose and uh, metamorphose baby does some bigger sizing and then we really can't say that same for AP. AP is like the biggest known Japanese brands. And I'm wearing AP today and I really love AP. I have most of AP in my closet. But unfortunately their sizing is not inclusive. And even though uh, I, ha I fit in brand, some brand, I have had the time when I have gotten a new brand dress and it has not fit me and it has happened multiple times for me and the sizing is still an issue in this fashion. Luckily there are so many uh, Taobao brands and indie brands who are making uh, size inclusive uh, clothes for the uh, for us but unfortunately it can be said for the like the biggest, still the biggest brands, Metamorphosis, the MVP. I personally really, they do not cater to my style, but I'm happy for them who can, uh, who like their style and can get uh, dresses and stuff fit their size. So yeah. And I also really dislike how tight like the socks have become in Lolita. Like again, especially for AP, but there are a lot like smaller in comparison like I heard I did not get the Suguri Carnival Meiji uh, order last year but I heard that the socks were really really, really tight and I noticed that some uh, socks that I got last year from AB were a lot tighter than my other socks that I have gotten from them so I don't know what's up with that like why like even the Japanese models were like struggling with the socks like scrunching up on their like uh, ankles because they were too tight and couldn't pull them up so and even in the baby's uh, like fashion show this year it, it was the same problem with like Takumiya's fluffy cloud tea party series they like the models had these crunch up socks on the uh, at the ankle because they were they looked really really tight so I don't know what is really up up with that and same with the AP and brand tights why are there just one size they are so like I am wearing brand tights right now but they are they just barely fit and they are really tight so I wouldn't like why why can't you do like at, like two sizes AP or and baby and all the other brands like please sizing a bit more would be nice and yeah so the second thing i hate in lolita fashion is the like baths for any release to be like if it's a smaller like indie brand release or if it's a especially if it's a popular brand release the blood baths are so 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 stressful like i have uh entered like and won a couple of blood baths last year but they are always so stressful and I'm like, I personally like stress the whole day or even before about the bloodbath and then when it's time it's just like clicking, 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 refreshing, refreshing and refreshing and it is just so stressful and it would be nice that the, uh, like every brand would, would be able to like do like maybe like MTOs or something like that because like the it, it is so stressful like it is what I say like small knit fashion so of, of course there is limited quantity but it is still annoying for especially when I buy from for example AP Paris so I'm fighting against the people in Europe but also there are sometimes uh, Americans who fight over the things in AP Paris because the AP USA site is like really sh like trash I have heard and then there are even some like 
well I don't think the Asian community fights in the Paris website but like all of Europe and then there is like Britain and then there is like the some people in the uh, from the uh, America who fight like over the same little quantity of dresses that are available so it's like <laughs> always the uh, site is crashing and it is really stressful and and for also the AP shut down the like VIP system so there are even more crashing is going to be there if there's going to be any more like any popular releases re-releases especially this year so yeah I hope that the black bass would be like a maybe a little bit smaller <laughs> it would be fun but unfortunately this is what we have to deal with but of course there is always a second hand market which brings me to my next last point which is the scalpers because of the sweet plume scalpers have raved in the community and a lot of pieces like some lolitas just have sell their stuff for high prices since they can get that much but then there are the scalpers who go buy from the new releases and just to resell them for a higher value and there are lolitas who are desperate enough to buy them and uh, it sucks it sucks for the whole community that we have to deal with the scalpers like some things that were like for under like 10,000 yen are like now 40,000 yen like what the frick like literally like sweet cream house was my dream dress for years and I finally caught it but like most of the time in the past two years it has been selling for like 33,000 yen and I'm like I'm not paying that much once like a couple years back it like sold for like 15,000 yen so it's like it's doubled the price in the second hand market and the stuff that are is stained is also selling for a lot of money and same with the pony bags I really personally do not care for the AP pony bags but those have been selling for like 800 or something like that and I can't believe that somebody actually like bought them <laughs> So it's like really is sucks for newcomers when they come into fashion and see these ridiculous prices when in reality they have not been this high before and like staying dress from like 10 years ago isn't worth for like freaking 30,000 yen or even like 50,000 yen or like they're not just worth that much. And for example, like this dress, this is from Michel du Chocolat Lois Jasker from AP and I just got this dress and it is, it has some damage in it, but this one was like 7,000 yen. So it is like around like 65 bucks. So th that was reasonable and I was like, the damage is little and I'm okay with that. So yeah, but for like asking like triple the original amount for like staying dress is not worth it it's not worth it in any state I, I do not care do not sell your dresses for like triple the original amount if they have damage in them <laughs> so yeah but yeah those were all of the things that I, I came to my mind uh, when I thought things that I love and hate in like hate in this fashion. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment and consider subscribing. Tell me your thoughts in the comments too. I would love to know. I was Yoshi and I will see you next time. Bye!